China is now dealing with another disease outbreak, this one mostly affecting animals but also potentially deadly among people. A highly pathogenic strain of the H5N1 bird flu has been reported in China's Hunan province. The outbreak was reported on a farm in the city of Xiaoyang in the Hunan province. As if health officials in China don't have enough on their hands with a spreading coronavirus, now officials announced an outbreak of bird flu. China's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs announced Saturday an outbreak of a highly pathogenic strain of H5N1 bird flu at a farm in the southern province of Hunan. The virus was discovered on the farm with nearly 8,000 chickens. More than half of them have already died because of the outbreak. China is not alone in trying to tamp down the spread of this virus. Earlier this week, authorities in India started culling chickens and destroying eggs to contain the bird flu virus. And a different strain, the H5N8 virus, has spread throughout Eastern Europe in recent weeks. A bird flu outbreak in China back in 2013 ended up costing six and a half billion dollars in economic losses, according to UN experts. Although bird flu poses more of a danger to poultry than humans, it is not easily transmissible among people. The World Health Organization has called on countries to be on guard because the virus can mutate into a transmissible form and has the potential to cause a pandemic. According to the World Health Organization, while H5N1 can be transmitted to humans, typically through contact with dead birds or a contaminated environment, it is rare in humans. The virus does not infect humans easily, and spread from person to person appears to be unusual, the WHO said. There is no evidence that the disease can be spread to people through properly prepared and thoroughly cooked food. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, most human infections with avian influenza viruses have occurred after prolonged and close contact with infected birds. Rare human-to-human -human spread with this virus has occurred, but it has not been sustained and no community spread of this virus has ever been identified. However, bird flu is highly deadly to humans who contract it, with a mortality rate of more than 50% in cases over the last 15 years, which is much deadlier to humans than either SARS, a 10% mortality rate, or the novel coronavirus, a 2% mortality rate in the outbreak so far. A study published in the open access journal Respiratory Research reveals that, in human cells, the virus can trigger levels of inflammatory proteins more than 10 times higher than the common human flu virus H1N1. This might contribute to the unusual severity of the disease caused by H5N1 in humans, which can escalate into life-threatening pneumonia and acute respiratory distress. From 2003 to 2019, WHO reported a total of 861 confirmed human cases of H5N1 worldwide, of whom 455 have died. In China, 53 human cases of bird flu infections have been reported in the past 16 years, with 31 having died. Things you can do to prevent bird flu, if you're visiting a foreign country that's had an outbreak you should. Wash your hands often with warm water and soap, especially before and after handling food, in particular raw poultry. Use different utensils for cooked and raw meat. Make sure meat is cooked until steaming hot. Avoid contact with live birds and poultry. What not to do? Do not go near or touch bird droppings or sick or dead birds. Do not go to live animal markets or poultry farms. Do not bring any live birds or poultry back to your country, including feathers. Do not eat undercooked or raw poultry or duck. Do not eat raw eggs. Symptoms of bird flu. The main symptoms of bird flu can appear very quickly and include a very high temperature or feeling hot or shivery, aching muscles, headache, a cough. Other early symptoms may include diarrhea, sickness, stomach pain, chest pain, bleeding from the nose and gums, conjunctivitis. It usually takes three to five days for the first symptoms to appear after you've been infected. Within days of symptoms appearing, it's possible to develop more severe complications such as pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome.
getting treatment quickly, using antiviral medicine, may prevent complications and reduce the risk of developing severe illness.